Hi. Right. No, no, this is a good joke. This is a third joke. Um, what's the better investment? Um, a 40 minute coaching session with a dating coach or a flashlight? I don't know, do you guys know what a flashlight is? It's like a pocket pussy. I don't know why they call it a pocket pussy. It doesn't fit in your pocket. And it's not shaped like a flashlight. So I don't know. It, have you seen the, it? They're shaped like a butt. They could call it a backpack butt. Because it fit, it'll fit in your backpack if you want to be on the go. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're probably thinking, well, Sean, one of those options is just you giving up. But I think it's just being more efficient. You know? Um, and, and you're probably thinking, well, which one costs more? They probably both cost about the same. You'd be wrong. Yes, I'm going to guess. How much did you think the dating coach session is more or less than the flashlight? More. You're right, it is more. Yeah, the dating coach is like 220 bucks. Is that crazy? <laughs> and the, the pocket pussy is $158. Oh! Wait, yeah. <laughs> With my discounts, I have discounts. Don't worry about how I got them, just, I have discounts. Um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know guys. I think I should go with the dating, I, I don't, I, I'm leaning with the dating coach thing because I'm really bad at dating. Uh, last date I went on, I mean, she, I thought it went well. I, I kissed her at the end of the night, and then, but then I tried to ask her out for a second date and she just ghosted me. I thought back, I think, well, did something go wrong? And I think back to when I asked for the asked her for the kiss, and see, she came to the date on a fucking uh, uh, knee scooter. <laughs> so that was a, if you know knee scooters, like this. Uh, and so when I kissed her, I was holding the door open for her at the apartment building. So she was between the doorway and the door that I was holding open on a knee scooter. I could have let go and they would have crushed her. So I don't think she was gonna say no to her kiss. Would you? She was kind of in between a, a, a rock and a hard place, so like me and a door. Uh, anyway, uh, cool, that was the, that's the end of the third joke, cool. Um, I had a long day, I worked all day today, you guys. Uh, I got so many people sick probably. You guys, you guys work all day, you guys working? Oh, uh, you're not gonna believe what I've told you about myself so far. You're not gonna believe what I do for work. Are you ready? I work with kids on the autism spectrum. I know, I know, I know. I look like someone that's no longer allowed around kids. And you're also thinking, but Sean, aren't you autistic? I do give off autistic vibes. Um, I ask my mom all the time if I'm autistic. And all she says is, you've never been diagnosed. <laughs> and that's not the kind of answer you want to hear. Okay, yes or no would suffice, Mom. But instead, she decided, hey, don't ask, don't tell policy on my mental health. Uh, now, would you guys mind if I just vented for you real quick about the job? This is something I go, it's just something that happened yesterday I feel like talking about. But uh, uh, it's these, this job is hard. I work with these kids that have special needs, but also I have to work with the parents, the moms. It can kind of be a pain in the ass. This mom texted me yesterday, canceling our session, uh, basically telling me that I have gusting bitch face. Like she could, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my boss said. She's like, that's rude. No, well, it, she didn't exactly say that, but like, like I guess our session last week, she said I seemed upset and she could see it on my face. I'm like, bitch, that's how I always look. So she was right. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Uh, but yeah, guys, th this job is hard. Uh, these kids have learning disabilities. This is one kid I'm working with. He learned how to read. He's having a really hard time learning how to read. I have to watch this kid have a hard time learning how to read. Makes me think of how hard time I had learning how to read when I was a kid. Did you guys all have a hard time learning how to read when you were kids? No, you stupid fucking smart fucking. <laughs> um, I had a hard time learning how to read when I was a kid. I remember one time when I was in kindergarten, I missed a day because I was sick, like right now. Uh, and then when I came back the next day, the teacher wrote on the board the word no, K N O W, asked me to read it. So, like a fucking dumbass, I said, canal. <laughs> All the guys laughed at me, I felt like a fucking idiot. Uh, and this bitch Jessica. <laughs> now, I don't know her name is Jessica, 
I just want to assume a bitch and Ken Dog will be named. <laughs> Jessica said, when Kate and Ann go walking, all the end does the talking. Well, why do all your people like Kate and shut the fuck up, Jessica? 